welcome to chapter 5 measurements today we're going to be doing a lesson on converting meters into centimeters and centimeters back into meters by myself Mr. Imran Iqbal from one to one tutor.co.uk the home of mathematics okay now we're going to go straight into this activity here I presented you with my identity for the for this lesson so one meter is equal to 100 centimeters that's a, a mathematical fact which we use to help us work out this question now if in one meter I have 100 centimeters well in two meters I have 200 and three meters 300 so every meter when we convert in centimeters we have to multiply it by a hundred now similarly if we convert if you go backwards in, in this equation if we convert centimeters into meters we have to go and do the reverse of the time by hundred process so 100 centimeters is one meter 200 centimeters is two meters 300 centimeters is three meters so here what we in fact are doing is dividing by 100 so we've got two processes here if you're going from meters to centimeters every meter contains 100 centimeters so we time by 100 okay if we're going from centimeters to meter 100 centimeters make up one meter so you have to divide by 100 time by 100 to change it from meters to centimeters and divide by 100 to go backwards now we're going to do this lesson we're going to cover meters to centimeters and centimeters to meters we're going to cover two units in a sense in this one lesson so i'm going to do a half page split the meters centimeters on this side and centimeters on this side so you get a chance to see both okay so let's have a look okay Line down the bottom middle over here. Right, let's have a look at our first question. Okay, we're looking at exercise six and exercise six B in this instance. Okay, how many centimeters are they in? So we need to change for the first question. We have two meters and we want to change that into centimeters well meters to centimeters there's my identity is time by a hundred okay I'll copy this number down number two on the next line down because if I start working on it here I'll start crashing into the letters so number two now in order to multiply by a hundred we first of all need to find out where the decimal point is because when you multiply by a hundred the method is move the decimal point two places to the to the right okay so we get the decimal point let's be consistent with our colors oops oh the wrong color again excuse me okay and then if you now when multiplying by a hundred we find the decimal point and move it two places to the right in this case, this is a whole number. In a whole number, the decimal point lives where they haven't given it. It's not there at the moment. But where should it be? Well, it should actually be here at the end. And because I'm multiplying by 100, that initiates a two-place movement to the right. So one, two. The decimal point lands down below. What we need to do is copy down what we have above. Now, in the two gaps here, we've got to copy in here one zero and another zero so at the moment our rough answer stands as 200 point now as we've done in the previous chapter in units 200 point is simply just 200 that's the place where a decimal point lives at the end of a whole number we don't need to any further that point here can be discarded for the final answer so the final answer is 200 centimeters Okay, let's have a look at another question. Let's have a look at question number six, 4.6 meters. Here we have 0.6 meters. We've got to change that into centimeters. We look at our identity. One meter equals 100 centimeters. So if I'm going from meters to centimeters, I'm going in the blue direction here. So it's going to be time by 100. So right over here, time by 100. Time by 100 means get the decimal point and move two places 
to the right. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get this moving up. Let's copy this number down first so we don't end up crashing into the question itself. There's no point six. We grab the decimal point, we go one, two, decimal point lands over here on the next line down. We copy down the zero and the six, and where we have an empty hump, we copy down a zero. So now let's look at our answer. Again, we have to interpret the answer. That says zero sixty point. Well, zero sixty point is sixty. So the final answer is sixty centimeters. So we don't need that, and we don't need that, and that's our final answer there. Let's look at one more question to do with meters to centimeters. Okay, let's have a look. Yep, yeah, we have fifty meters. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get another one actually below this point here. If you can't see the answer, I'll write over here on the side. Because I think we're going to be running out of... Just in case if you can't see the answer here. 60 centimeters was the answer underneath. Now, the first question was changing 2 meters into centimeters. That became 200 centimeters. That was 0 0.6 meters. We got rid of an extra zero here that we didn't need. Okay, let's actually... I think we need to do some more examples. We might need to nick a bit of the other side of the board. So let's rub this off for the moment. More examples is better. Actually, let's put this line. Mm, okay. We have 50 meters. Let me change that into centimeters. Okay, 50 meters to centimeters. One meter is 100 centimeters. So it's time by 100. Okay, time by 100, find the decimal point at the end, copy the number down, copy the number down, we go 1, 2, any more than 2? No, just 2. So we go just 2 forward, drop the decimal point down, copy everything down that we have, 5, 0, and put in this empty gap, so I put zero and put another zero over here. So we have 5,000 point, which will translate into 5,000 centimeters. Okay, one more example for good measure. We have another question, which is not actually on the exercise, um, but it's one of my own specials. So let's have a look at 0 0.0 7 meters. We're changing that into centimeters. Okay, in every one meter we have 100 centimeters. So we're changing 0 0.07 meters into centimeters. What do we do? We time by 100. Get the decimal point. We go one, two places forward. So that will give you what as an answer? 0 0.07. And the point lands here. I don't know what you're thinking, 007, no, not the movie, this is maths. Okay, that number is 007 point, so the final answer for this answer, for this question is, it's just the 7, because zero, 00, we don't need to say that, and the points at the end anyway, we don't need to say that, so the final answer is 7 centimeters. So not only do we need to know how to, which direction we need to move it in, are we multiplying by 100? or we're dividing by 100, we also need to know how to interpret the answer because 200 points, you're not giving that as the answer, it's two, just 200. 0 0.6, 0 0.60 again, that's not the answer, 0 0.6 is the answer, find the answer. When that, gets, when that gets multiplied by 100, it'll be, it'll be 0 0.60, so 0 0.60 is simply 60, 60 centimeters, 50 meters, Becomes uh, becomes 5,000 point, which is really 5,000. 0.07 meter becomes 0 0.07 point, which is simply 7. Okay, so there's some examples there. We have one, two, three, four examples covering all the different styles of questions you might get in this kind of question, changing meters, centimeters. So what I'd like you to do is copy these examples down first, and after you've copied them down. Uh, so you can pause now, copy them down, and then I want you to play again in a bit, and then you copy down the questions which I'm going to put on the board, and then you need to copy them down, do them, and then press play again to see the answers. Okay, 
I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I'm going to do meters to centimeters and centimeters to meters. For the moment, we're going to just do meters to centimeters because otherwise you're going to get confused. So let's just take two meters converting into centimeters for the moment. Okay, so I'm going to give a few seconds while you press pause and I'm going to rub this board out so I can write the questions. Okay, so press pause now. Okay, exercise six. Okay, these questions are all nice and straightforward questions. I'm gonna write them down on the board. There's actually 12 questions in this exercise. A lot of them are similar, so I'm gonna miss out some of the similar ones. So we're gonna go on to question number two first. Number two is four meters. We have number four. Number four is nine meters and then we can do number six number six is 0.6 meters okay and then we have we can do number 10 number 10 is 50 meters and then we're gonna do my own question number 13 and number 15 it's going to be node point node 2 and that one's going to be node point 0.79 meters okay okay if you're pressing play now and you're watching this part this is your homework part so these are the questions that you need to copy down and do them. And before you go to press play again after I finish talking, you got to make sure that you've done them all and you want to check to make sure that you use the right method. Because when I'm going to go through the board, so then you can check with yours and mark them as well to see if you are on the right, you're doing the right uh, operation there. So what I'd like you to do now, if there's any further delay, is to uh, copy these down from the board by pressing play and then copy them down and then do them so can you please please press pause in about five seconds and do the work and only press play when you're ready to go through the answers so press pause now okay if you're now watching this part of the video you have copied these questions down and you've done them make sure you've done them no cheating okay so here we go i'm gonna go through the homework the homework questions on the board now four meters if i want to change these into centimeters okay we know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters so we say one meter is equal to 100 centimeters so if i go from meter to centimeters i have to times by 100 and that's what we're going to be doing here in each question time by 100 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 and time by 100 okay now no we've got four let's copy the four down the next line down Okay, so four, the decimal point is at the end of a whole number, which is here. So you go one, two, four, drop the decimal point down. What do we get? We get four, zero, zero in the empty home, so we put zeros in there. And 400 point is basically 400. So without further ado, it becomes 400 centimeters. Next question, nine meters, copy the nine down, put the decimal point in move it two places to the right that's what you do when you multiply by 100 drop the decimal point down 
copy everything down, 9 in empty home to 0, empty home to 0, 900 point becomes 900. So 900 centimeters is our final answer. 0.6, the decimal point is already there, but let's copy it down so we have enough room to do it. And for 0.6, we have to move this point 1, 2 places forward, and that gives us 0 0.60. Okay, I'm going to have to write the answer a bit to the side because I think we're going to fall off the bottom of the video. Node 60 will basically give us 60 centimeters, and that's the answer for that one. 50 meters, change the centimeters, copy the 50 down, put the decimal point in the end of this whole number, move it one, two places to the right, drop the decimal point down. What do we get? We get 5,000 centimeters. Point of end is not needed. No point no two here. We've got enough room to do the working out on the question. Grab the decimal point. We multiply by a hundred. We go one place, two places forward. We copy everything down. Put the decimal point there. The answer says zero zero two point. We don't need these. The final answer is simply two centimeters. If we change no point seven nine meters into centimeters. We must multiply by 100 because every meter has 100 centimeters in it. So here, we can actually work on the question itself here. Grab the decimal point, move two places to the right, one, two, because we're multiplying by 100. Drop the decimal point down. We've got to copy all the numbers down underneath. So note 79 point. So the final answer is going to be 79 centimeters. If you can't see that answer, here it is, 79 centimeters. Okay, then are just some of the questions that you could have done in exercise 6. You can try the other questions which I've missed out. For example, the odd numbered questions uh, in that same exercise for extra practice. But hopefully that's given you a good insight on how we change meters and centimeters. We've got to find the decimal point at the end of a number and multiply by 100. Why? Because in each meter you have 100 centimeters. And that's what we'll be doing each time. Time by 100, time by 100. Find the decimal point. If it's not there, put it in at the end of the whole number. Move forward by two places. If it's already there, use it. Move that forward by two places. Any empty homes, put down zeros. Then you've got to interpret your answer. 002 point means 2. 079 point means 79. The zero at the front we don't need and the point at the end we don't need. Okay. I hope you've learned something from this lesson and I look forward to welcoming you again back to one to one tutor dot uk the home of mathematics okay thank you